<laughs> so we're right here off the Colorado River. The Hoover Dam is that way. Four miles approximately. No, five miles. It's five miles. We're just getting ready to do the kayaking. It's five miles up and it's gonna take us Hello? We almost didn't do it today. I know because there were books, so we got lucky. Yeah, we got lucky. The guy that got hooked us up, he, he gave us an extra pass. Um, and then, so it's going to take us four hours to do it. So we're in the middle of the river. We're in. Is this Lake Mead? What? Willow Beach. We're at Willow Beach, which is on what lake? Lake Mead. She's scared. She's scared to think it's gonna flip. What's the worst that can happen? We could just fall in the water. She's wearing a life vest, right? Waiting to go into Emerald. What's it called? Emerald Cave, right? Cove. Emerald Cove. Ready to go in there and check it out. See what's in there. I want to explain what this thing is up here, right? It's called the gauging station. So imagine we're talking about over 100 years ago, early 1900. Uh, they were looking for a site, a perfect site for the Hoover Dam, right? So this was one of the possible sites for the Hoover Dam to get built. It's narrow, tall, it would be a perfect location for a large dam, right? So they built this gauging station up here. They built another one just like it up where the Hoover Dam is today. So, but before Hoover Dam, this Colorado River, it was completely different. Depends how much snow was melting up north in Colorado, Wyoming. Water level fluctuated 60, 80 foot during, during the day. So it was causing a lot of flood in California. So that was the number one reason for Hoover Dam to get built, flood control. Number two reason was it was a power plant, right? 75% of the electricity goes to California. Oh, it's cold. That's good, though. Woo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> 